Contrasting the microorganisms are the macroorganisms. So the microorganisms, although they're not all like this, tend to be small and they tend to be unicellular. So you often have just a single cell. Um, but in fact, most big things go through a small phase. And in fact, we're, we're learning about uh, life cycles this week uh, in lab. And we have, um, we're, all, we're going to be talking about, or we are talking about, uh, things passing through single cell stages and then moving on to being big things and then passing through single cell stages again. So we all have, in a sense, this inner, all of us big things. Nevertheless, we resort to the microorganism state once per our life cycles. So this is all about, you have meiosis, you have gamete formation, fertilization, zygote formation. Uh, you also have, in fact, um, spore formation, which is uh, another uh, product or potential product of meiosis, of meiosis. And then once you're at the single cell stage, you go through mitosis, you go through growth, development, you learn, you survive, and eventually you reproduce, and what you ultimately make are large things that typically are, are multicellular. But even the big things, even the plants, even the animals, even the fungi, they all tend to pass through a single cell, a very small stage. Now, they're not considered to be microorganisms because as adults, at their reproductive stage, they're big. Whereas the microorganisms, when they're ready to reproduce, they're still tiny.